Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. Uh, in this video, I am just going to give you a thought that it's not the end if you fail to qualify CSR net exam. It's not the bottom of the ocean. There are so many important job opportunities still waits you after you fail in CSR net exam. So if you belong to that group who successively failed in CSR net exam for last two, three tries and even more than that, this video is just for you because I'm going to discuss about some very good five career options that you can choose even after failing in CSR net exam. So stay tuned and definitely watch the video till the end. Okay, so uh, let me first uh, talk about the options that you have. When you fail in CSI net exam, it's not the end. There are options that you can do uh, in the academics. There are options that you can do in uh, the private sector jobs as well as in the government sector jobs. So what options do you have? The very first option that I will suggest you can go is the lab technician, DMLT and paramedics. This is the whole new different range and actually I'm not, I'm not going to mention any of the job responsibility which is not connected to your study because here we are discussing about the failing of CSI net in life science and biological sciences. So I'm not going to discuss about any other topics, any other job which is not connected to this subject. So somehow all the jobs that I'm going to share are connected with this subject such as DMLT, uh, a medical lab technologist as well as other lab technician in hospitals as well as as a paramedic. You can build a career on that although uh, it's not that lucrative of a career that means it's the, it does not have a huge salary package or stuff but still you can do a lot in that. At the starting the pay scale and the salary is little low but uh, the more you got experience the salary will also be high. Now the second option that you can choose is uh, other PGDM courses. You can continue with any other diploma courses which uh, only offers course for duration of six months or one year. You can easily uh, go with those courses uh, for example clinical research, you can go with clinical trial, uh, uh, patent management services and there are many other PGDM courses available. You can easily find that in Google. You can type in like PGDM courses after graduation in biological sciences. You can find a list of all the other courses. Now the beauty of these courses is that these courses are always designed to get you a job. So while you are appearing for the course and you qualify the course successfully, you will be given the opportunity to sit for interviews which uh, is not done during your graduation and post graduation by your college. So that's a thing, that's a gap that PGDM course can fill and you can literally enter into a professional world. Now again in PGDM courses like clinical research trial, uh, clinical trial management, patent management jobs, these are official jobs, does not always involve with uh, the lab based uh, wet lab, it's a dry lab job. But again still uh, the, the salary offerings are moderate at the beginning and soon uh, you can get a good salary when you get experienced. Okay. So let's move to the third kind of option that is there and that is internship courses. And again uh, we are planning uh, to fill the gap between your fresher uh, as well as you're entering into the job and internship courses are the best uh, for that perspective for example BCIL uh, this is a kind of course or it's another example like KBITS they organize this course every single year and in this case you will be given the opportunity to work in any industry of your choice or their choice they select it based on your uh, exam uh, an exam is conducted always to select uh, candidates so although the exam is quite easy and definitely if you uh, have basic knowledge of science you can easily qualify it so you can go with those and for six months course for example BCIL you will be given the six months opportunity to work as a trainee uh, in uh, one of uh, their partner lab or in KBITS uh, you can choose the place KBITS run for one year six months training program and then six more months as a practical uh, operator of different instruments in dry or wet lab. So you can do either of this uh, that can enhance your possibility uh, to get a job in future. Sometimes uh, the industry where you actually start working as a trainee absorb you because uh, if you if you do good job there. So that's another very good opportunity and actually the best thing about KBITS and VCIL courses is that this course will remove the tag of fresher from your quiver. Okay, so let's move to uh, the other one. Uh, fourth one is uh, 
uh, is all about gear shifting a little bit uh, exactly a little shift from your uh, own point of study to something a little different for example you can go with a b8 course that many students of these days when they fail in csi net exam although it's a two years course now and takes a lot of time and money to continue but uh, there is a option that if you do ba and then there is a chance of school teacher job and the school teacher are their private uh, like the primary school teacher or uh, the grad school teacher job either of this job you can continue with high school teacher jobs as well but again it's a shift from exact point of your study now similarly there's another thing that you can shift the gear to towards government job and when you shift your gear towards government jobs uh, you should not be picky about the government job you should be appearing for all the government jobs particularly for ibps for for rail for uh, public service commission particularly as you are belonging from biological background i will recommend you to go with upsc as well as civil services in some cases as well as the forest indian forest department service jobs uh, and the salary of those jobs are huge once you qualify so you can check that one out in my other video regarding the career options after uh, bsc in botany as well as bsc in agricultural science you can go with that and uh, uh, another bonus option that i must share uh, the sixth important options here is again uh, is out of your exact study and that's a sales representative in medical field in pharmaceutical fields you can be acting as a pharmaceutical rep or uh, uh, which is also known as a medical representative job in this job you can also enter with a salary range starting from 12000 to 15000 and continues to raise and based on your designation it will raise up in the future times so but again it's not exactly linked with your uh, with your career with uh, what you've studied there but again official job but still uh, it has some application of your knowledge so you can go with this five and six important career options even you fail csr net exam so don't be disheartened if you fail csr net exam there is still so many things you can actually go for and you can do really good thing about it, okay so if you like this video please help this video uh, to reach other people so share this video with all your friends in all the social media platforms and definitely subscribe to our channel so that we can keep posting these important informations that will benefit you so that's all for today. We'll see you in the next video.